Hey folks, Mark here with King News, and I'm talking to two people from the 1985. This is a short. Go ahead and introduce yourselves to the folks at home. I'm Kelly Snell, I was a producer and the 80s. And I'm Hutch, I was the DP and producer and go ahead. Awesome. The DP and a producer, that's always this, because usually that's a separate position. I, I love, does that, I just got a quick question, does that feel like you have more control? All right. I just wanted to check. <laughs> okay, so this is a story of a young man who's dying and goes to see his mother, right? Tell me about the thing that he does to hide this from his mom. That's an interesting angle. Um, it, well, it's based on a true story. Oh, uh, about okay. About a man who uh, had carpose sarcoma. Yeah. Lesion that you get. Okay. Last Oh, okay. And um, he wanted to cover up his lesion, so he went to the department store actually and tried to get someone to help him cover his uh, sore on his face. And um, no one would help him because it was in type of AIDS. It was super scary. Yeah. No one understood it. And, um, and then this one person, this young makeup artist, after his others, and like kind of sh like just ignored him, actually sat down with him and did it and he was saying just how it was just like this moment of grace that this person was just like didn't care yeah. and didn't bother her and so she just showed it was just hum humanistic and just made him feel human after literally being like, felt like he was an outcast from yeah. these people, these older like, you know, makeup artists. Um, but our story is you know, slightly different, and ours takes place more of like an Avon lady comes to his house okay. to do the makeup. Um, so the story kind of revolves around that just, moment. Yeah, just that. The, um, it starts with him going out um, and getting dirty looks from people, and then realizing that he probably should cover it up because he hasn't seen his mom in like 10 years. Yeah. And so he's essentially going home to die, but he wants to look normal as much as he sees it. Right, right. right. And that's, that's good to know because I was wondering because the whole film talks about him going and I was like, okay, so this is a long story in a short film, but I'm glad you clarified it's mostly about that, that one moment. Um, so tell me about the, the, the Avon lady. I mean, that's interesting. So the, you got a, did you go with the younger girl thing with the Avon lady as well? Or? Um, she's in her early 30s, I'm guessing. Yeah. We don't want to give away too yeah. much right, of the story. Right, right. Um, but yeah, she, she, I would say in her ish. Um, she has a, a soft spot. Okay. Right. Let's just say that. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. So, how long did you spend filming? The short, very amount of, and then you get down to Well, earlier during our Q&A, she said four days. It was it's actually three. three. Oh! Even to the 80s, you forget how many days. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's three. awesome. But we, we, and we shot on film because of the Oak Cliff Film Festival grant we got. So we actually shot films because it's set in the mid-80s. So, oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's awesome. That's perfect. Was it filmed here now? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, as a matter of fact, it was filmed in the house of one of the Texas theater employees, actually. Oh, that's fantastic. That's great. And I love that community that we all have. Such a family. Such a family. Yeah, it really is. So i got to ask you, beyond this, what do you guys have in mind next? What can we look for? I always love teasing people, go see the movies. Well, when, you, when you're saying it was a long story, really short, we're actually developing a feature. A oh, feature is Which, but it's not, it's not the same story. It's what happens after okay. this. Incident. So it's not we're not retreading the same material. Right, right. That's what happens after. It's a little yeah, it's, it's different. Along the same theme, yeah. obviously, but yeah. yeah. Well, it's always interesting to explore yeah. these stories from the past, especially during the HIV era, because now the statistics are there are hundreds of thousands of them living long lives, and back in the eighties, it was a death sentence. Yeah, it was a death sentence, and you didn't want to be friends with those people. Right. So wow, it's fascinating. So what kind of did? I want to ask about a personal connection to the HIV or anything. Was there anything specifically in this part other than the story? So our director, um, he, he's much better at telling the story, but he used to work for an insurance, some insurance, medical insurance company um, 17 years ago. And during that time, a lot of men who had HIV would cash in their insurance policy. For like a third of what it was worth just to have money to live the rest of their life and you know enjoy it basically yeah. um, and so during that time he had heard the story the true story about the man that went to the um, mall to get his face and so 
it's just kind of sad with him. It's, you know, maybe it's yeah. the past 15 years. Um, and you know, as artists, we kind of all go through moments where we question what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it was in one of those moments that this story popped back in against mine, and he shared it with us, and we said, let's do it. I mean, it's, it, it also talks about how it's like he's at a he says he's at this like kind of existential like crisis as far as filmmaking goes and where to go next and so it's you know very yeah I mean even though I mean not to not to say that, that you know making films is as bad as like you know dying of AIDS but it just it's something that he could relate to in that way and then I, of course immediately I can relate to that as well and just the, I mean the humanistic element of it and just like the fact that we should treat people just like people no matter what yeah. their situation is like you don't know what their situation even if you do you should still treat people with humility and grace exactly. and love exactly and then the beauty of film is, is people can visually be a part I mean for some reason we're always more part of the story we see on film and this really brings us apart to it. So, thank you so much to the both of you. Of course, thank you. I look forward to checking it out. This is not the surfing. Yes. Yeah.